Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to show off a little program that I wrote uh, quite a while back. I don't remember exactly when I set this up, but uh, I can't claim credit for the whole thing. This actual algorithm was developed by a, a guy called Kosiemba. I'll link the original algorithm in the description. It's a 20-move Rubik's Cube solver. It's called God's Algorithm. It can solve any Rubik's Cube in 20 moves or less. The difference with my version of it is that instead of having to download a program that either only runs on Windows or you need Java to run it or something like that, you can just send your standards compliant web browser to this page right here, which may move at some point, but for now, this is where it is and run everything from within your web browser, which I think is pretty awesome. So you've got to generate these tables here before it can get going. Eventually I might figure out a way to make this run a little bit faster, but at the moment it's quick enough. And then once that's done, uh, it doesn't have to run again unless you refresh the page. So that took about 15 seconds to run in my browser, so it's not too bad. So right now I'm going to generate a random Rubik's Cube. So this is a random valid cube. I'm going to hit solve. So we'll give it a few seconds. There we go. So down here we have our Rubik's Cube in its original configuration, like you can see up here. Now rendered in 3D down here. That's also done within your web browser. Then I can hit play here and it'll actually render that Rubik's Cube being solved in real time. So you can either look here, and if you understand how Rubik's Cube notation works, then you can just solve your cube as shown there, or if you'd like to uh, just watch it and then copy what the cube is doing, then you can do that as well. And I can also play it back in reverse, and that'll show us how you can get to your cube from a clean cube. And uh, <clears throat> that's like this animation bit I'd like to work a little bit more on. As you can see, this uh, little orange box should be following where the cube is, and it's not. There's a couple things that it could use a bit of work on, but for the most part, everything works just fine, which is pretty cool. And I can also pause. Or maybe I can't. That was working at one point. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> well, either way, a couple of the other things this can do, I can bring up a clean cube and then edit from there. Uh, if I click on this block right here, then I get an eraser. Uh, so let's say I clear the cube. I can pick up the red from here, and then this shows what color I have. And then uh, another neat thing that this does that not too many other uh, versions of this will do is as I'm filling this in, uh, sometimes it can actually calculate when a particular color has to be uh, the color for a particular square. So right there, that orange just filled itself in automatically, that uh, orange over there. Yeah, orange is filling itself in quite a bit. And that, uh, it does that just by process of elimination. It knows that, uh, for instance, that blue had to be the color there. That white had to be the color there. And then uh, you can also verify a cube. You can enter cubes either by just typing in the syntax up here or by actually clicking all over the cube down here, which is what most people would prefer to do. And then you can hit verify cube and that'll tell you whether or not your cube is valid. And then there's some preferences over here. You can set what color you want your different uh, sides of the cube to be. There's a nice color picker. Um, you can set whether or not it'll auto-complete. And then uh, you can set the maximum moves to higher than 20 if you want a uh, like if you want the program to run faster but then have a longer solution then you can do that 
and you can set the timeout to something higher or lower. Because normally, if your browser isn't fast enough and it can't find a solution within 10 seconds, it'll tell you it timed out, and then it'll ask you to increase your maximum moves value. And I haven't run into that in a little while since browsers are faster than they used to be. But, hey, whatever. So, that's a cool little thing. I thought I might share it on YouTube. See ya.